Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Make Magazine and today we're going to be building this, which is a wireless inductive charger for your phone or tablet. Now, if you haven't tried it yet, wireless charging is fantastic. Sure, it's not as quick as plugging your phone directly in, but it does save you a ton of wear and tear on that port on the bottom of your phone and it helps you manage your cables wherever you end up charging your phone or tablet. But if you've ever gone shopping for any of these, they're all these cheap black plastic rectangles or circles. Maybe they might have a bit of a rubberized coating. They all look cheap and nasty. And so today we're gonna mill one out of a solid block of wood to make something that looks a lot more elegant. All right, now while it's true that these CNC machines are much more affordable than they ever have been, they're still not for everybody and they're still not accessible to everybody. And that's fine because you can still do this project using basic woodworking skills similar to what we saw last week in the 2x4 enclosure video. Speaking of the 2x4 enclosure video, we had a couple of great responses and I wanted to share a handful of those with you here. Jeff Farr commented that he always loved the clear acrylic enclosures that showed off the electronics and that they always seemed more attractive than just covering them up. He also wondered if you could encase the electronics in a solid block or custom shape acrylic cast, but he also had concerns about heat removal. As long as you manage to include some sort of heat dispersion method, you know, vent, cutting vents in the side with something like a dado cut, you could certainly do something like that, or cut perforations in the top lid using a drill press. And Steve Watts had another comment of always save wooden boxes. My one in, nine out power distribution box for my mini drills is a button polished Turkish delight box for, from Christmas. And also, who throws away cigar boxes? That is also a great comment about keeping cigar boxes and of course, everybody's seen project boxes made out of things like Altoids tins. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next weekend project.